Good morning, everyone. Corinne from Mama's Little Lambs. This morning, I'm going to share with you some things that we have been doing this week. It's been a wonderful week, and we are learning so many great things. And I will be back to share with you what those things are. This week, as you can see, we're talking about apples, but we're talking a little more than apples. We are actually going to be talking about Johnny Appleseed and all the amazing things that these books have in store for us. This book right here is a book of poems, so what we are doing with that, I'll let you know in just a few moments. This is something that my older daughter is going to do. However, during Morning Time Basket, we're going to be um, reading the poems each day. We've been sharing those and just having so much fun. And then also, we have a few other books I want to Well, I think what I'm going to do first, I'm going to show you some activities that we're doing. These are some cards I made up. And they are super fun. And uh, this is a math subject that we can use, I guess, math material. And I printed these off. And it says count and clip cards. So what they are is it says Johnny Appleseed. And on here, we're going to see how many Johnnies are there. Well, of course, we're going to go through each card. And we either can use, and I picked red, yellow, and green for our theme this week for just the colors. So they can they can clip the card, they can take the card, and they can clip it. How many Johnny Appleseeds are there? Well, there are one Johnny Appleseed. Or they could also put an apple on the number, whichever they prefer to do. So that's one of the activities that we're doing. And these are just so cute. It goes 1 through 20. There are several of them. Different something uh, a different picture on each one so super cute so I really like these so I wanted to have some math um, involved in our unit for this week so that is what we're doing with the younger ones um, for math so that is one of the um, things that we're doing uh, the next ones I'm going to share with you we are doing 
the life cycle of the apple and we're going to actually label the apple. So we're going to put our name here and I got one for everyone and then we're going to cut these out and we're going to label the parts of an apple. And I got this one and then I also have depending they can pick whichever one they prefer. And then I also have this one um, that we can also do. So some are for a little bit younger or older but then we're going to color them and we are going to label them. So really nice. I liked these. We're also going to do the four seasons of an apple tree. So we're going to do the summer, winter, fall, and spring. And what takes place each time of year with the um, apple tree. When does it bloom? When does it produce apples? And when do the leaves fall out? So we're learning all kinds of great things about apple trees. The next um, thing that we're going to be doing is I printed all this up. Um, a few things I got on Teachers Pay Teachers, and uh, I believe this one was from Teachers Pay Teachers. Yes, this was. And we are going to make this hat. So we're going to color all this, and we're going to put whoever seeds. So it could be Mason apple seed on this one. And the hats are super cute, how it ends up being. And then they also have the little strips that you can cut. Oops, let me show you those. Let's see right here in the back. So it just tells you print on cardstock, color the hat, cut these two strips out, attach to the strips to the sides of the pot for the headband, and staple it in circle after measuring the child's head for the best fit. And then it says C sample. And just so much fun. I just thought it would be fun and they would enjoy doing that. So that is another art project that we will do. And then this book we're going to make, it tells us all about Johnny Appleseed. And it goes through and it tells us Johnny Appleseed. It tells us when he was born, his name, where he was born. And then there's this page. And then we have this one, who he was. And then, of course, he's reading a book underneath the tree. And, of course, it's a apple tree. So we're going to color each page. And then we are going to, oops, I think I have a duplicate on that one. And then this one here is we're going to color the apples yellow, red, and green. And we're going to trace where it says apples. This one, it says, what does your favorite apple look like? And then they can trace apple at the bottom of this sheet. So depending on which apple they like best and what color they choose, that's what their book will look like. And then this says Johnny Appleseed. And then the last one says apple seeds and we'll color those and they'll trace this and then this will be a book and we'll put all the book together and I'm going to put some red ribbon and yellow and green ribbon through it and poke three different like holes down the side here so they have a special little book so they can keep that and have that to treasure and remember about Johnny Appleseed. So that's another one that they're going to be doing. Um, we also have some stickers of red, yellow, and green apples, and we're going to add these to our fall book, and then we're going to uh, put the apples in, and we have some stamps that we're going to use. I also have these three little bowls here. There's a red, there's a yellow, and there's a green, and then I have little, whoops, I'm sorry, little apples in this container and what they need to do is match the colors and they need to tell me in Spanish and English which ones go in which bowls and which color they are and they also do sign language so this is a fun little game for them to do so that's another one we'll be doing I also have this that I made up it just has the little section I think I got this at the dollar, dollar store I do believe I put different colors of apples in here and they're going to match which one goes where and we're going to put those in order just a fun game and we're going to see if we can pick these up and I have some little tweezers for them for their pincer grip and we're going to grab a hold of these and try to put them all over there so just a fun little game for them to do the next one is called Attribute apples, and there's 27 apples for sorting many different ways. Let me take the lid off. You can see down in there the different apples. Some have little worms coming out. So there's just some fun games. We're going to do large, uh, medium, and small. We are also going to do ones that have worms for recognition. We're going to talk, uh, we're going to do patterns and sequences with this. 
and just a lot of fun different things that you can do with this game. So this is a super fun game. We really, really like this one. So that will be another one that we will do. I also have, because when uh, you're going to see in a video that I'm going to share with you later, but we took a visit to the orchard and they had lots of different, they had pears and they had apples and just different fruits that are out in the fall. So during harvest time. So we're going to sort these out by color. We're going to try to find all the red apples. We're going to try to find the green pears. And there's just, you know, counters with so many things we can do with this, but they're just so much fun to have. And these are just fruit counters. And I got these at Lakeshore and just to have some really bright, pretty colors in there. And we can talk about our favorite fruit. Another game that I have is called Fruits and Vegetables. And these are beanbag activities. So you can, um, you can sort these uh, and use these for activities. You can talk about eating, eating healthy. And they just have different cards inside them. And it says Fruits and Vegetable Bean Bags. It tells you what they are. It tells you a game. You can do beanbag toss. You can do um, vegetable relay. You can do fruit or vegetables. There is balanced, a balanced diet, fruit and vegetable tic-tac-toe, fruit salad, four, four corners, where's the veggies, hot broccoli, and there's just several other games, fruit finder, guessing garden, so there's, these came with it, they're super cute, my kids love this game, so it's just nice, you get these card, and they're on a ring already for you, and then these are all the bean bags, so here is our nice, fresh, apple and then it has all kinds of good vegetables in there and fruits for them another fun game that we like to play when we're doing either nutrition i thought it would be fun for johnny apple see if we could try to locate the apple and find out how many apples there were so this is a fun game this is again from lakeshore so that's another one i got um i do have my daughter is working on let me show you what she's doing um, we did receive a letter from a uh, heritage letter and this one is pretty cool. It was talking about John Chapman, and it gave information on this card all about him. It also gave you a postcard, which is really cool. And then, of course, there's the letter. And I just love these letters. If you're um, not familiar with these, you guys need to check into them. They're really good. And this came at the perfect time. I kind of saved them and matched them for uh, the units we're doing or what we're studying at that time. And it just goes through and it tells you about his life and it talks about uh, a lot of great information and who he was and what he did. So just fun to receive these in the mail also. So this came for her and that's for my daughter who's in eighth grade. We also did Johnny Appleseed's song, The Lord is Good to Me. And she had to do copy work with this one. And of course we sang the song. She also did an Apple Word search. We're also, for science, we're doing some t apple test tasting. And we're seeing which apples we like best. We bought uh, six different apples. And she's coloring them and scoring them by what she likes best. So far, we've had a sweet tango. And we have done a Granny Smith. And she has not finished, but we did um, a Honey Crisp today. And then this right here, it's just giving you... Um, what we did so you can kind of just mark in the things you smell touch taste see and hear and this is just a map for him and it tells you when he was born so that's one thing that she's doing another thing that i'm having her do the apples that she chose and listed the six apples she is going to find them for um, geography she's going to open up her map of the united states and she is going to mark where they grow, so I know in Michigan because that's where I grew up, and there are tons of orchards there. Um, but I want her to find out where they're most popular by name, and then also tell me the state and the state capital. So we'll get some um, geography learning out of this also. So we got history with our letter, we got geography, we have math, and then, like I said, we have poetry with this book. We are going to be um, reading the rest of the poems and she is going to do some oral narrations and um, she is going to do uh, memorization and do a presentation of whichever her favorite poem is out of here so there's just so many great learning aspects of this unit um, the other things we have I'm going to be making up because we're going to do this for two weeks 
These are different apples, red, yellow, and green. They're going to have to match them by number and by quantity. So if there's a red apple and it says four, then we're going to find four red apples and stick them in the baskets. So just a cute little game to do. There's also during reading time and read alouds, because we're reading a book on orchards, I got them all some Wixie sticks. I got green, yellow, and red. And they can just use these and fiddle with these. I also have some brain flakes for them to build with. And it's in a little apple dish. I thought it was super cute. And they can just, I want to kind of keep a color theme going because I think it's fun. And they can remember colors of apples and just to have a, they're nice and bright colors. So we can do these during read aloud or the Wixie sticks. Um, also, let's see, books that I want to share with you. These aren't all the books because I have a lot of books, but these are the ones um, that I want to share. So um, the Johnny Appleseed poems, that is one of them. And the next one is Johnny Appleseed, My Story. And it just goes through, it's got some cute pictures in there. It goes through and it's just, this is the reader that we'll do. And we'll read a few pages, um, probably three at a time and why they sat and listened to the read aloud. Then we'll read a poem. So that's another book. And then this one is Johnny Appleseed. And this is a fun book too. And they have some good illustrations. It tells a little story about what he was doing and how he planted and what he came across. So a nice book. This one is How Do Apples Grow? This is really good for science. And it just talked, my older daughter in eighth grade, it just talked about how the plants and how they pollinate and that they have um, male and female um, cells and they how they have an ovary and just all the different things. And this is the ovary and they have pollen sticks here. It talks about the tubes and the inside view and it just how it's fertilized. It just goes through so much. Um, great information. Um, we're doing um, maturation right now, and that is through the good and the beautiful. And it's about, you know, male and female. And it talks about, you know, their um, hygiene. It talks about how babies are born and just goes through so much. So this is a perfect illustration as an apple. It's the same. It, it, it talks about how an apple starts and you know, it talks about all the parts of the apple and that there's, it takes a male and a female and how important bees are. And there's just so much great knowledge in here. The last book I got, which I totally love, if you have not read this, get it at your library. I think you'll like it and want to purchase it. But it's a picture of God and it's three in one. And it just talks about how God is three in one and how an apple is three in one. And it has like comparisons. So it goes through. Here is one apple. There is only one true God. The apple has three parts. The peel, the flesh, the core. The one true God has three parts. The God, the Father, and God, the Holy Son, or the Holy Spirit, I'm sorry. And then it goes through and just keeps telling you all three parts. All three parts of an apple are. The peel is not, it is not orange. It is not a banana. The flesh is not a pear. It is not a plum. It's an apple. The core is not from a grapefruit. It is not from a watermelon. It is from an apple. But these three, peel, flesh, and core, are not three apples, but just one apple. And it just goes through and explains everything. This It's really nice. It has so many um, comparisons to... Um, the three parts of our Trinity. So it's a great book. You guys would really like it. Um, I think it's important. We do have a picture that I got at Target. It talks about Guide to Apples and it talks us about different apples. And actually the ones that we purchased today were all on here. So it was kind of fun to go through this guide and then pick out apples. And like I said, we were at the orchard and we found some awesome um, apples and we had so much fun. I'm going to share a video with you now and just um, review what we um, did at the orchard, how much fun we had. It's been a blessing doing this unit study and there's just so much um, fun activities that we are putting into this. We are also, um, I have it, oh right here, 
I have an apple pie card and we are going to make this and we're going to add a little caramel to ours, but um, we're going to do an apple pie and then we're going to do an apple crisp. So we have some, you know, some cooking and some baking in here and just measuring again with math and following directions and just... It's going to be a wonderful day. So we're excited about this unit and we are thankful that we found this and decided to go through this and do this. Um, the last book I have I did not share is called The Fall Festival and it's super cute. He's out there and he's picking apples and it just goes through. Whoops, I'm sorry. And it goes through and it talks about being out there and it's harvest time and the fall festival and what happens and what all you see. And we got to see a lot of these things today. So it's really exciting to have this book. And like I said, I have several other books that I shared in a video. Um, excuse me, prior to this one. So if you want to go back and see all things apples, you will see it in that video. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to um, let you see the video and see what we did at the orchard. I hope you enjoy it. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And of course, hit that notification bell so you know when more are coming out. Thank you so much. Uh, we have been truly blessed by this. I hope there are some things that I shared with you that you might like to get for yourself or maybe shared with you some new things that you had not seen. Um, and just thank you for sharing part of your day with me. May God richly bless you in this day.